Sometimes in game development, some things must be cut from the game. The reason for these cuts varies, but it's something that's integral to the game making process. Today though, we will be exploring one such kite item from Signalis, this being the machete. The machete is a cut weapon in the game that can only be obtained via the debug menu using the command F7 give machete. This weapon is very clearly a cut weapon as it has a textured inspect, a simple description, but it lacks an actual texture as equipping it will instead appear as a simple pink tube. The simple description reads a heavy straight edge survival blade. While its inspect description reads nothing of note, most likely a placeholder of sorts because it really didn't make it that far into development. Inspecting the weapon in the inventory shows it is what it says it is. It's a sweet, mostly black machete with a comfortable hilt for Elster to hold on to it with. Using the machete, one will find it does 10 damage in an arc to all enemies that it comes in contact with. This damage ignores armor and will pierce straight through Myna's armor and Star's shields. However, its range is very limited, only really working as long as the arch can reach, forcing the user to get very close with it in order to make contact, allowing the enemies to easily strike back. While we don't know exactly why it was removed, several ideas can be quickly considered. Number one, the weapon was too much work to optimize, as can be seen by the damage piercing aspect being quite buggy, with it not really working reliably on Miano units during their damage phase, and it not being able to reliably damage downed units. Two, there was no good opportunity to add it. Seeing how the weapons we already have in the game are introduced in a very careful fashion, there may just have not been space in gameplay for such an addition. And finally, the most likely reason, it is just far too powerful. Machete requires no ammunition, takes up one inventory slot, can stun, damage, and push back any enemy that gets too close, thus really allowing it to be the best response in the game to multiple enemies, as well as having the most inventory efficient item in the entire game because it doesn't require ammo and it can also go through armor so it really is the best item in the game um, and for a lot of reasons and it can be easily seen why it was likely removed as all there is to really talk about with this weapon it's rather cool to mess around with but you can clearly see why they elected to remove it so that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this has been christopher beast and i hope to see you all next time